thanks for joining me for a bit of hope in this video cast um, and I'm so excited to share with you some news so I was visiting a large congregation uh, just recently and uh, so often you know the large congregations struggle with serving the wider community for kind of getting outside and breaking outside of their own neighborhood but not this congregation this congregation number of years ago uh, started a school uh, and has uh, planted a, a second site. Uh, they are one of the uh, three congregations in the Diocese of Texas that's done a second site ministry. But this is the amazing thing. The amazing thing is that in their work, they really are connected and becoming a community center uh, where their second site is intentionally chosen because they believe that they could bring better education uh, and uh, serve the community and get its needs, uh, help them get their needs met. Uh, but they saw that this was going to be key to do through relationships. So after my visit just recently, I came back. I was so enthused with how things are going and the relationship building in the community and how uh, that really generated new and exciting energies during COVID and post COVID. And just, I was filled with hope after uh, that visitation and wanted to share it with you. And I wanted to tell you that I hope that, uh, that you will find uh, as you look around in your world, signs of hope as well. Love to share those uh, 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 here uh, with me. Uh, I'll share your stories. I'm glad to receive them on social media, uh, but uh, uh, as, the, as that uh, uh, Eucharistic prayer says, open our eyes to see your hand at work in the world. How can we not have hope about the Episcopal Church when we are constantly seeing God's hand at work in the world through us, through you? Thanks for joining me.